The next gene is the ApoE gene. ApoE is basically the gene that is, uh, that is heavily uh, tested and is commonly um, looked at for the development of Alzheimer disease and cardiovascular disease because this is a gene that uh, is responsible for the protein that carries the cholesterol from the circulation. So whenever there is a mutation in the gene, then uh, people who have the ApoE4 allele, uh, if they have one copy, they are at higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. If they have two copies, then it becomes a very unfortunate situation because they are at much higher risk of developing Alzheimer's disease or dementia later in life. And they are also at higher risk of developing cardiovascular disease. Now, if, we, if you have APOE2 or APOE3, uh, those copies are just fine, so you don't uh, have to worry about developing those diseases. But at the same time, on the same token, we must remember that even if we don't have the wrong gene, we can still uh, walk our way into these chronic uh, debilitating diseases if we have an unhealthy lifestyle. So as a matter of fact, most people with dementia or Alzheimer's disease do not have the, uh, the, the uh, mutations in their genetic makeup in the APOE, uh, at the APOE level. So it tells us that, the, that there is a tremendous role of lifestyle. Now, uh, about 30% of the population has APOE4 uh, with one copy, and about 10% uh, of the population has two copies of APOE4. So these people are at a high risk of developing cardiovascular and cerebrovascular diseases. Now, what do we do about it? So if we find out that uh, we did the genetic test and we find out that we have the copies or if our family history is such that we know that there is Alzheimer's disease in the family and we now do the test and there is uh, a positive mutation, then uh, what we can do is we can focus on our lifestyle in such a way that we live a heart healthy and a brain healthy lifestyle. So what is a heart healthy lifestyle? Well, we make sure that we have uh, we don't develop obesity, we maintain a good body mass index, we don't uh, develop hypertension, and we don't develop chola uh, high cholesterol. So if we uh, uh, kind of mitigate these four risk factors, we don't smoke, and we don't live a sedentary life, and we reduce our stress levels, all those things that are uh, commonly known uh, to public knowledge are uh, are going to help us uh, prevent the development of cardiovascular disease. Another thing I would st strongly recommend would be uh, that we do regular testing. So if, for example, if I know that I have APOE4 uh, uh, or one or two alleles, then um, I wanna do my test regularly even before I turn uh, older because I wanna make sure that I catch my uh, cardiovascular disease or brain disease early on and I can then uh, prevent it from progression. Uh, and so that is as far as the uh, heart healthy lifestyle is concerned. When it comes to brain healthy lifestyle, then there is much more that needs to be done. So you can uh, remember the mnemonic fit and set. So for fit, you remember that you don't eat those foods that are going to be toxic. Um, so there are actually neurotoxic foods that can increase our chances of developing neurodegenerative disorders. So we uh, eliminate those foods from our diet, we just eat in general very healthy. We make sure that our microbiome is well fed and is, uh, is, uh, uh, is uh, involved in producing all those short chain fatty acids that are very helpful for maintenance of good cognitive function. So what are those? Those are butyrate, uh, propionate, and acetate. Uh, these are the short chain fatty acids that are made by our gut microbiome or the gut bacteria and if we have enough of them then our brain actually stays healthy or at least uh, some uh, uh, at least we can say that uh, uh, it, they support the brain health and how do we feed the good bacteria uh, such that they can keep producing the short chain fatty acids by eating a high fiber plant-based diet uh, so that is as far as foods are concerned. Then uh, we need to make sure that we prevent ourselves from chronic viral infections because there are lots of different viruses, for example, the herpes group of viruses that have been implicated in the development of uh, dementia and Alzheimer's disease in the long run. So we can prevent ourselves from those infections. We can uh, make sure that we don't expose ourselves unnecessarily and keep our immune system strong. The T stands for toxins. So again, we need to make sure that we do not expose ourselves to environmental toxins um, uh, that are going to increase our risk also. Then uh, the set as, uh, stands for sleep. Uh, so we, uh, sleep is extremely important for brain health. So we need to make sure that we get a good quality and good quantity of sleep 
because long-term sleep deprivation is also going to put us at risk for dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Uh, when we don't sleep right, our, uh, there is a lymphatic system around the brain cells, which is called the glymphatic system. It doesn't uh, get the opportunity to do a good job at, uh, at uh, getting rid of all the toxins from the cerebrospinal fluid, which is around the brain, and the brain stays uh, soaked in the toxic fluid. So we need to make sure that we get a good amount of sleep so that we uh, can keep uh, flushing our brain with, uh, with good circulation. Uh, the next is E, which stands for exercise. And exercise, I cannot tell you how important it is for a good brain health because with exercise, we uh, release neurotransmitters, which are basically the brain food. And one of those is called BDNF. And if we don't have enough of it, then our neurons or the nerves are going to start dying off. The T stands for trauma. So if, for example, uh, if we happen to know that we have the, the wrong copies of the APOE gene and we are at risk of developing uh, chronic brain disease, then we can maybe uh, start thinking we should not get involved in those activities that are going to put us at risk for traumatic brain injury. So all those sports and all those uh, activities that uh, just greatly increase the risk of direct trauma to the head. Uh, so that is what we can do to maintain a brain healthy lifestyle and uh, with a good brain healthy and good heart healthy lifestyle no matter uh, what even if we get the apoe4 copies we can uh, fight it off and we can make sure that we don't develop the chronic brain and cardiovascular diseases